I was about to put my necklaces on. I haven't worn them for so many weeks because of lockdown. And everything is tangled, it's got knots. Oh, what a headache. Okay, I'm gonna sort that later. Right, welcome back guys. Today's video, I thought we could go through spring outfits and spring perfumes. I know you guys are really interested in spring perfumes. Um, guys, I have a toothache. I, I never get toothache. I don't think I've ever, I probably haven't had a toothache since I was a child, but my wisdom tooth is going through and it's very, very sore. Um, so if I, I seem like I talk funny sometimes, like I'm gonna try and talk normally, but sometimes I just try not move my jaw as much because it's really sore. I'm going to the dentist next week, so hopefully that will fix it. Um, anyway, you don't need to know that. Aside from that, this video is gonna be spring outfits, spring perfumes. We should be free soon. I mean, let's see if that actually happens. Um, and I've been living in track suits. Like I don't, I don't get dressed unless it's a track suit. So I thought we could try on some clothes, see what spring outfits I can wear for when we're free and we can go back into central London, which I cannot wait for. I'm craving Marlebone. Um, so I think that's probably gonna be one of the first places we go once we can get back into central London. Um, and what else is there to update you on? In my head, when I was thinking about this, I kept thinking of like t-shirts and dresses, but then I'm like, no, that's summer. This is spring. So jumpers, light coats, light layers. Still gonna be kind of cold until April-ish. Mayish. Now May will be a bit more nicer. Um, but we've still got time of like wearing a coat um, or just layering up jumpers. So let's put some of those outfits together. And yeah, before we get into it though, I wanted to say hello to Susie. Your partner Gary left me a comment saying that you are having a hard time at the moment and you really enjoy watching these videos and he watches them as well. Um, so I wanted to say hello on behalf of him and also on behalf of me. I thought it was so sweet that he left a comment to, to say a little surprise hello to you. I've done something similar. There's someone who me and Alan watch on YouTube and I left them a comment being like, say hello to Alan, and they didn't, and I was gutted. Um, so I hope that you like saying hello. I don't really know what to say. I've never done this before. Um, but yeah, hello from me, and I hope you're doing well. And I know it's a hard time at the moment, a hard time in general for a lot of us. Um, but you're going to get through it. We're all going to get through it. Just take it one day at a time. Practice that self-care, self-soothing. And um, if you haven't seen one of my videos where I talked about self-soothing, it's basically just where, like, apparently our humans, there's, like, scientific evidence that shows that our brain interprets us, like, stroking our chest or stroking our arms as someone else comforting us. It doesn't feel like it's us comforting us. So that's self-soothing, and that's something that definitely when I'm feeling anxious or having sad moments, I kind of reach for my chest and stroke my chest, stroke my arms, stroke my hands, and it's all very comforting. And so definitely try that, but just, you know, be kind to yourself because it's a really hard time at the moment on top of everything else going in the world. Um, so I hope you're doing okay and I hope all of you are doing okay. Um, I'm going to put my hair up half up half down I got these really cute scrunchies on Etsy. How cute. Every time I've shown someone this, which has been two people, um, they've said, oh it looks like it's from Liberty. Doesn't it just? So cute. So when my hair gets a bit longer in its bob, I love to do a half up half down. Although it's not looking too bad down today, but I just think these are really cute. To have like a scrunchie and then a little ponytail. Like my fringe has gotten very long as well okay let me show you this outfit i'm wearing i need to decide which shoes to wear i think i'm probably gonna go with birkenstocks trial of shoes here um i would have another pair of probably birkenstock sandals out to wear with socks but they're all under the bed at the moment but i'm thinking i will go with my classic bostons i got these last january and they are definitely one of my most worn shoes and you can wear them with some like nice thick socks but for spring I think this would be pretty good so this is the outfit it's very simple this is the first outfit um and what's the lighting like it's okay um i have to apologize our mirror we've put it here and it's stuck on with um command strips but to take some of the weight we put it kind of balancing a little bit on the radiator but it means you can't see the bottom of my outfit so i'm gonna have to show you like this guys 
but I'm wearing these very high-waisted trousers. These are from Arquette, and I got these in the sale. I, I'm pretty sure they're still going to have them. They kind of have, like, can you guys see, like, a big pocket detail here, which is quite a big square. Um, and they're ultra high-waisted, so quite flattering, holding the hips, the hips a little bit, but I think I need to get different underwear to wear with them because you can really see my pants um but they're nice they're kind of like more fitted on the top here and then they kind of like bellow out a little bit on the legs actually if i hold you guys up like that you can see my shoes that's perfect um and they kind of come to the ankle and then i've got birkenstocks on which i already showed you guys again you could wear this with like a really nice woolly sock um, and this is just super basic. And then on top I've got, this is the jumper I actually wore for my wedding. And this is just a cashmere black jumper from Marks and Spencers. And then obviously I would probably get a little bit cold like this for our springtime. But, so I would add a coat. So let's see which coat I have. show you three options of coats that I might go for. First is actually, this is Alan's, this is the Jill Sander Uniqlo kind of like shirt style jacket. It's quite um, thin but it's wool and it's very very warm so that's an option and that's quite, that comes like I think just above my knees. Then I've also got Burberry Trench which is, this is the Camden car coat so it's a little bit shorter. I bought this years ago, um, actually on Vestia Collective, half price, and it still had the tags in it, so that was a really good deal. Negatives to the trench, though, is it crinkles really easily, like you can see it's crinkled all over, and I think I was, if I was to repurchase this now, I would get the other one. Is it the Brighton that's longer? The Camden's a bit shorter, but I would prefer to have a trench coat that was longer, but this is really nice for spring, so that's another option, and that would lighten up my outfit, and then I've also got my classic cos overcoat which is navy as well um, though a different shade of navy so let's try those i think all three would go with this outfit i wanted to show you the different um shades of navy like this is quite a bright navy whereas this one is a lot darker and i definitely need to lint roll both of these so we'll do with the overcoat first classic can't go wrong but it's all quite dark isn't it but for popping out it's gonna work quite well it's very very simple um what can i do to jazz it up a little bit i think probably add my necklaces i would do that and then i don't know about this hair guys but i think for this outfit this is one which is just you don't really know what to wear but it's gonna work um it's chic simple my most like me in these outfits I think part of me is torn like is it really boring or is that just me and my style um as this video goes on I start trying to really create something new um and I think before I used to love dressing very androgynous whereas lately I find I'm so much more drawn to the feminine like I've got my um I can't even remember what these what are these Ver Anna Verdun earrings in and I just like how they're more feminine I like with my rings and my jewelry that it adds a feminine touch and I think with some more androgynous outfits sometimes it's hard to blend the masculine and the feminine which I really like to do um but I definitely am more inclined to adding feminine touches to my look and my style and my outfits than I ever used to be in my you know mid-20s so yeah part of me is like is this boring and the other part of me is like maybe I feel my most like me in these just like really sleek, simple, monotone outfits. I can't really say too much about it. For this outfit, the perfume I think I would go with, I think I might go for Byredo's Rose of No Man's Land. This is quite a sweet rose scent, um, but it's very sophisticated. 
and something that I don't wear too often, Alan mainly wears this, but I think this year I definitely want to start wearing this, wearing it more. Something kind of new for me to get memories around. And yeah, it's sweet, but it's not sickly and it doesn't smell like a sweet, a cheap, sweet smell. It smells sophisticated. And I think when the sun's shining, but you've got that crisp, cool air, this could be really, really nice. So I do like the car coat with this but it's a little bit crinkled, a little bit flat. It does kind of lift the outfit so it's not so dark. Um, but nothing breathtaking. Like, it doesn't excite me too much. And you'll see what I mean by the length. Do you guys think it should be a bit longer? Or is it just because I'm used to longer coats? I'm not sure. I've got the sleeves rolled up because I'm a little short, so the sleeves are a bit long on me. You can also put the collar up a little bit. So this perfume is probably one i would wear i think it would be quite nice with the trench coat just because it was like raining um and this is diplotique's l'ombre danla it kind of smells like fresh dew um and i don't know if it's got fig in it i can't quite remember but this is the diplotique perfume that smells exactly like their um bay or bi candle it's really really nice let me just refresh my memory on the smell of this one yeah it's really nice it's kind of soft it has almost like a little bit of a fresh washing scent to it. It's soft, a little bit of sweetness, fresh, dewy. I love this one for spring. Alan bought this for me um, for last Christmas, not the one just gone, the one the year before. And considering it was lockdown, I made like lockdown started in the March after I got it in the December. I made quite a dent. I really, really enjoy this scent. So this is Alan's shirt jacket by Jill Sander and Uniqlo. You can see it's got these little pockets up here beautiful shade of navy goes really nice with the black what i love about this coat is the collar i think it's so gorgeous i love this type of collar i think it's super flattering especially with like shorter hair or if you've got your hair up really really gorgeous and because it's kind of that bolder navy i love it against the black right next up is quite an exciting outfit i mean this is definitely more it's warmer in spring so i'm definitely gonna have to put on a layer um and if I hold you guys high enough, it kind of makes my shape look very... <laughs> oh well. Um, also, I have got a very bright blue brown under this shirt, which is quite light. So if you see that, ignore that. Um, this is a very exciting outfit for me because I have stolen Alan's Izumiyaki trousers. I mean, how friggin' amazing are these? They are a gorgeous, gorgeous, like... I mean, I think they might be a little bit big on me um, because there is quite a lot of excess fabric here. Um, but I'll just show you here the colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a very gorgeous grey, but quite a unique grey. And then, of course, I've paired it still with my Birkenstocks because the Bostons are classic and go with everything. Um, and I'll show you, I think, when Alan wears these, because these are men's Izumiyaki trousers. When Alan wears these, he obviously wears them more at his waist. I've put them way over my hips, like pulled them up really high so that the length is a little bit better. And then I've paired them with a Arquette shirt. Probably would look better with a bit of a shorter bob or just my hair looking a bit more done. Um, but I, I do like this. I think it's quite cool. It looks like I've kind of just thrown on an outfit. And it's something a bit more unusual for me, especially because these aren't my trousers. So kind of shopping Alan's wardrobe gives me something new to wear without breaking the bank myself um, and this is something that we could definitely share. I also think they would look really good with maybe like a little t-shirt and have that tucked in which we can try in a minute as well but I think with the shirt just super comfy super casual again looks like I kind of just threw it on but I think quite stylish because of the Izumiyaki trousers and the um kind of pattern that comes with them i mean it's not a pattern it's pleating isn't it but really gorgeous the shape as well really enhances on these trousers really enhances my hourglass shape um and really you can kind of see that billowing and then down to being more skinny on the ankle i really like this um and this probably yeah something more summery for a scent because i do feel like this is kind of like very late spring when it's starting to get warmer so i think because i'm feeling quite cool in this outfit i probably would go for the labo sky at 10 this scent i thought this was a scent everyone would love but i wore it at work once and my manager hated it like he came into the front desk where i sit and was like why does it smell like 
rat poison or something like that. And then I remember thinking like, God, that sounds dreadful. What smell could that be? But then it clicked later on that it was probably my perfume because a few seconds before, like this is a smaller bottle, so I kept it in my handbag. And a few um, minutes before he came around to where I sit, I had put some more on. That being said, I don't think it smells like that at all. It's very, very soft, woody. Um, sometimes I think it smells similar to Glossier's perfume, You. So if you've tried that, maybe that would give you an idea. Or that, you know, I think Glossier's You is more like molecules. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Um, but this is a very light, a little bit musky, um, smoky scent. I would say this is a really good, like, beginner's woody fragrance because it is so soft. So I probably want to wear that with this. I'm also wondering for when it is warmer, I mean cooler, if a cardigan would go with this outfit. So let's try that on. So we can try this with it. This is my acne cardigan. I got this years ago now. What was it, 2000 and... When did we get our first tattoo? 2017? Yeah, so this is from 2017. We got this at the Acne Archives in Copenhagen. I don't know if this is going to go. Actually it kind of does because everything is quite hanging. This is a men's cardigan. I'll show you guys properly in a second because I don't think it's probably going to look too good where you Guys, I don't know how I feel about this outfit. At first I thought it was so good, but then now I'm like, I just don't know if it's me. Like I said, I don't know if I'm just more into the simpler stuff. And, that, and something with, which is like, I like to mix the masculine and feminine. I don't think with this outfit you can mix the two. I think it's quite masculine. But I guess if I was in a different mood that was for that kind of look one day, that could work. Maybe it's just my mood at the moment. But my mood really is just to wear tracksuits, so it's hard to tell. Like that right now. Um, do you see what I mean? Everything kind of just hangs. So I kind of think that goes, if we bring, I need to kind of sort the sleeves out so that they're further down. And then if we bring the card again, almost under the collar. Can you guys tell okay? Definitely haven't got the best mirror set up for this, have I? Let me zoom in a little bit. And then, can you guys see? Like it's all quite hangy. And I actually love this cardigan. Uh, oh, sorry, I completely missed showing you what I'm doing there. I actually love this cardigan, this this rich black shade with this cream shirt. I think that looks really cool. Something that I wouldn't think to pair together, but I probably will in the future. Um, and then with the trousers, I think this is pretty cool. Hmm, from this angle, it actually does look cool. Maybe it's just a mood thing. Do we like this? I think I like it. I think I like it, and I don't think I like it. I think Alan said earlier, it's like Marmite. You will love it or hate it. But what I don't want to do is love it in the morning and then get out into central London and then hate it by the afternoon and I'm stuck in it. Because I don't know about you guys, but when I wear an outfit that I don't feel like myself in, I feel like I'm not in my body. I hate it. I hate that feeling. But this does kind of look cool. But is it just the angle of the mirror and the camera? It's hard to know. I actually would feel good in this, like I have got quite feminine dangly earrings on so I don't know necessarily if that goes, probably doesn't, I think it probably takes away from how structured and quite masculine this fit actually is um, but I actually really like it and I think with just like a canvas tote bag could be really cool and would keep me warmer Wow, I couldn't figure out why my buttons felt back to front and then I realised I've put my dungarees on the wrong, wrong way around. So yeah, that's uh, not gonna work, is it? Imagine if that's the way you wore dungarees. Right, sandwiched in between your boobs. I think trying on all those clothes ended me going into a bit of a tailspin um, and getting a little bit overwhelmed with it all. But we got a few outfits out of it, didn't we? I think I, I tried on the dungarees and then I clearly forgot to press record for the next clip because that's it with the footage. Bit of a random one, isn't it, guys? But hopefully you enjoyed it. I think it kind of turned into, like, us going through some outfit options together and then reviewing them. Uh, please be gentle with me in the comments if you think that last outfit was appalling. I still am on the fence. I think it's kind of cool. Is it cool? Hmm, we'll see. We'll see if in, like, April, May we see me out.
I kind of want to out. I, <laughs> my wisdom tooth story is sore. Um, I kind of want to go um, to like Liberty and feel fabulous and just have a good time. But I don't know if that's what I'll wear to do that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the, this video nonetheless. Perhaps we can do it again. Near the time, we can think of some more outfits together. Um, and again, it kind of just shows like things that you already have in your wardrobe. Most of the things like I showed you today, I think all of them, um, are, are clothes I've had for a really long time, you know, apart from the Arquette trousers that I got in the sale in December or January. Everything else is pretty, pretty well loved and pretty well used. And I guess it's just trying to figure out, I kind of had like a trying on session today, didn't I? Like trying to figure out what clothes go with what and what mood I'm in, because it's been so long since we've gotten kind of properly dressed. Um... It's not been that long, has it? It's been like three months since we were allowed out and about in London. But still, you kind of start to forget what it feels like to fully get ready to go on a day out. Because I've just been living in my tracksuits, as have many of us. Um, and if it's not tracksuits, it's pyjamas. So it's all about that cosy, comfort life. But there we go. Don't really know what I'm saying anymore. Let's just wrap up the video. I hope you're well. And I will see you very soon.